today I'm going to show you two different sensory bottles that I made and I will tell you what I did and what I put in them and maybe you and a grown-up can make a sensory bottle at your house. I used what I had in my home. I played around though. I did have some mineral oil and some vegetable oil and I found that for this type of sensory bottle just plain old water worked really really well. I threw in some glitter, I threw in some curling ribbon, some Lego pieces, some beads. This one even has some rubber bands, some buttons, and some colored paper clips. But this one was my favorite. It's supposed to be the ocean. Doesn't that look like the waves crashing on a beach with foamy water? Look at the bubbles. This is a water bottle that I filled about a third of the way up with plain tap water. Then add your food coloring and mix it well. And then I filled the rest with just plain old vegetable oil. I filled it to the top. Parents, the best way to make sure your lid is secure is to hot glue it on. But these are great calming bottles. They teach children self-regulation. They unconsciously lower respiration and heart rate. And they're a visual anchor for children. See you next time.